The Class NK is the one of the largest classification society of shipping in the world. The, we are now employing the one, about 1,700 people all over the world. We have uh, branches, the 130 branches all over the world now. So that uh, we are, uh, we have developed the in the last more than 100 years, and now the, we are working very hard for the safety and the protection of the environment in the world. Then the, I'd like to introduce the recent highlights of our activities. Two activities now. The first is. Uh, uh, UMRV, I, I'm not sure that you know, you know about this, but uh, UMRV is uh, monitoring and the uh, verification of emission gas from the from ships. That was introduced European Union, and it will be into, into into force and from the next year. So that now we have the accreditation of the uh, from UCAS in the United Kingdom to uh, verify uh, this emission gas, con emission gas. The, so that uh, now we are beginning the business of this, the assessment of pr uh, monitoring plan and the, the verification of the emission gas. And the second is uh, the e-certificate. Now the certification to ships are very, very complicated now so that uh, each ship carrying uh, very thick the certifications uh, to, to navigate all over the world so that uh, it is now the uh, we have we build up a new system called the class NK certificate uh, so this system is authorized by Liberian registry and the, we are now working with Liberian flag ships so that they will be able to use this system the for the navigation so this I, I point out these two highlights in the last last three months so that the uh, now the, uh, the several issues are going on in parallel uh, maritime industries the first is a very, very difficult and tough situation of the market. Uh, this is uh, maybe now the last year was the worst, but will recover very slowly. The second is that uh, now new uh, environmental regulations are coming in to the maritime industry, especially shipping industry. So that uh, this is the second the issue now going on. The third is that now new technology is coming into the shipping industry and also the manufacturing industry about maritime industry. So uh, these the three issues now is going on very quickly so that uh, each stakeholders in maritime industry are now trying to cope with such kind of situation. The shipping shipping companies and the shipbuilding companies, manufacturing companies, and also class have to do cope with such kind of situation. So we are now doing the uh, uh, or making up the our business in such kind of situation. The, the main uh, we are now doing two approaches to s such situations. The first is the, the, to cope with uh, such kind of difficult, tough situation uh, as a class. It, it's a very, one very important thing is uh, how to the, keep the quality of class. This is also now we are facing a tough situation, so that uh, it is a very important issue. The second is uh, we support the uh, industries to cope with such kind of situation. The, we are now the, our position is basically that support or assist to the industry to cope with a new, such new situation or circumstances. So that now we are providing a variety of services for industries to cope with such kind of situation. This is our situation now.
Okay, as I said, the now the new environmental regulations are coming, so that uh, the I'd, I'd I'd like to point out that uh, first is uh, ballast water management system, and second is uh, emission gas control, as I said, and the third is uh, maybe ship recycling. The we are now the working hard for the our clients to deal with or cope with such kind of regulations and it will help the greener and safer world I think. Two thousand twenty the sulfur cap problem is uh, very very serious at the moment. The there are, as you know the there are the some tools to cope with such kind of situation. That is uh, low sulfur oil, gas fuel, and scrubber. Still, still the, the, the selection is open, very open. That now the each the stakeholder are thinking which way should we go. Then we are now the assisting their decision. We are not in a position to de decide which is the best for you, but it, it is a decision of each stakeholders. But we are now the help to choose the proper uh, choice for their companies. So that, uh, that is our position of this problem. Yeah.